Um, G'day guys. How you going? Just Hello. a fellow PPL. Oh yes. You know, yeah, but, you know, but, but yeah. yeah. Casey, how are you mate? Nice Pleased to meet you guys. Yeah. Guys, I got, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. I've been flying yeah. and I've come to the con conclusion yeah. there is no curvature. I never allow for curvature. There's no way there's curvature. We're round and flat, aren't we? Definitely. That's we are, aren't we? Flat as a Thank pancake, you, mate. Sir. Flat as a pancake. We were, so, and it, the outer ring is south. Yeah. And 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 so north must be in the middle, correct? That Possibly. Just, that yeah. would be the only way that a yeah. magnetic compass would work on a flat plane. Might be on something there. Yeah. But but something. you are not having me on. No, we are. No, we're round and flat, no, aren't it's we? A pancake, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. No worries. You made my day. Only if you put Jetstone over there. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, you, you know, it, I would tell a few people, especially some close mates, even, yeah, though, yeah. I, even though I'm a pilot, yeah. they laugh their heads off at me. That's Think it. I'm an absolute nut job. Ah. Nah. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Okay. No worries, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. Oh, oh. But we do have Eddie Bravo on the line, so we, we, we have to go to Eddie right now. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, Eddie's on the line. Very cool. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie, Eddie Bravo. Michael Bisbing, how you doing? <laughs> hey, there he is, my man. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. You're on with myself and Luis J. Gomez. Last time I saw you, Eddie, we were nearly fighting in a hotel casino. <laughs> uh, or, or, or the World <laughs> MMA Awards. No, <laughs> was, no, no I know, I know. Um, if you have Eddie Bravo on your podcast, you can't not ask him about um, some of his conspiracy theories. Um, do you, are you, is the earth flat, Eddie? Is the <laughs> earth flat? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, it's flat. <laughs> well, right, well, are you serious? Explain, please. Well, convince us, because I, look, Mike Bisping, at the top of the show, we went off on a whole rant about how it is a spherical earth that we live on, and I, look, I don't know, I'm in the middle, who knows, okay? I might, who, it might be even a fucking cube shape, for all I know. Can you explain, really quick, elevator pitch, convince me, I'm on the fence right now, could be a sphere, could be flat, go. Um, <clears throat> if, if the world really is round uh, and has a circ circumference of 20,000, 25,000 miles, then um, you, and then if, if this ball is, uh, three quarters water, then you'd be able to uh, detect curvature in the water. Um, and at a hundred, if you do the math, at a hundred miles in the ocean, there would be 6,600 feet of curvature. So that means that um, at a hundred miles, you would, if you had the most powerful telescope in the world, you would not be able to see anything at a hundred miles because there would be 6,600 feet of curvature. Yet, this is just one of, you know, a thousand proofs. This, this is one. But yet, um, uh, the Navy can target ships at 100 miles away with, with, a, with a, a camera where they photograph the target. And it's a laser target that goes straight. The laser doesn't curve. It goes straight, and they could see it. The, earth, the water doesn't bend. Water is flat. Water always finds its level. You put water into a container, it conforms to the inside of a container. You can't find water anywhere that forms to the outside of a container. Water is always level. We can prove that on any, in any country, in any lab, we can prove that water always finds its level. We can't prove that Correct. at some point it's going to be curved. There's no proof of that. So we're, we're, water doesn't curve. We're mostly water. We're in a level plane. We're on a level plane. All the pictures you see of Earth from space, they're all CGI. And NASA... Well, what this, about this, Eddie, this Eddie, CGI. Eddie? Eddie, what about this, then? If you fly from here to Australia, for example, and then you keep going in the same direction, you'll come eventually to England, and then you'll come back to where, come back to America. What I'm saying is that? if you fly you in one that? direction, you'll go in a circle. You go in a circle. No, 
to think to think that that's a big uh, mis- misunderstanding. To think that um, that uh, it, it, let's say let's say let's let's uh, let's take let's say the world is flat and let's miniaturize it. Let's say the world is flat and it's a uh, um, and and there's a model of the Earth and all the countries and it's like a, a square mile, right? You can travel okay. anywhere you want in the world on a plane. If it's flat, like let's say you want to go to Australia and then England, you know what you do? You, sh- you fly to Australia on this flat plane, and then you fly to England on this flat plane. It doesn't, like, you, you, you can go around in a circle or um, on a plane. You can go, you can, do you understand what I'm saying? Like if you just looked at a flat plane, you could travel anywhere you want. You just, you know, pick a country put a dot and drive and then you fly a straight line. It doesn't have to be a ball. Oh, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Mike. Look, here's the thing. I don't really know because I'm not a smart guy. Eddie seems smarter than me. You're definitely smarter than me, Michael Bitson. We find this thing week, week out, <laughs> week, week in, week out. But I will tell you right now, Eddie Bravo is at least 150 times as passionate about as passionate about his side as you are about your side. You're over there. You're fucking, you know, twiddling your thumbs. Eddie Bravo's done the research. I'm signing with Eddie. I say that you're a fucking you're you're the conspiracy theorist, Michael Bisping. Well, I'm just going with science and the popular opinion and the fact that the yeah. world is a globe. You can you're, see you're, exactly you're, what it is, your popular opinion. Don't be uh, a cuck uh, to science. Consensus is not scientific fact. Consensus is not uh, science. Just because well, a is, bunch of people, that, that, like, that you, you could take you could take twenty you could take twenty uh, seventh degree black belts. Put them all in the room and ask them all if rubber guard is legit, and they could easily all say no. Does that mean it's not legit? It's the consensus. The consensus says, like I would say, the consensus of all BJJ black belts, they don't think rubber guard is legit, but they're wrong. They're obviously wrong. I'll but, tell you this: rubber guard yeah, is I'm a fucking that example. gigantic pain in the ass. That's what it is. Whenever I go up against someone with rubber guard, <laughs> they fucking drive me crazy. They're pulling out crazy submissions from all over the place that shouldn't be possible. Um, but so I'll give you that, Eddie. But I don't know about this flat earth stuff. But that said, uh, quintet on Fight Pass, October fifth. Eddie Bravo Invitational coming up soon. There all the time. Check those out, Eddie. We thank you for joining us, and maybe we'll get into this in person sometime at the LA studio. Maybe we'll uh, we'll, we'll get together and debate this in person. That sounds like a lot of fun. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, all right, man. <laughs> well, listen. Thanks for joining us. Thank really you. appreciate it, Eddie. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, man. See you. Bye. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. Eddie Bravo's the man.